Okay. Here, to edit that out, I think. So that's it. Yeah, because uh, that's a, 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 a Gregory. Um, yeah, that Paul Desmond played on that. And Ronnie Lang. So that was the one you basically used? Uh, I used it. I'm trying to th see what it says on here. You know, it says, uh, it, this is very old. Gregory. Uh, and uh, Well, there's a few different models. That's a... Um, yeah. This is a 4A18 yeah, or something that, like that. that. Yeah. And, and a plastic reed I have on there because I don't play... I don't play the elbows. So this was a, a, a the Legere. The Legere reeds mm -hmm. were the best of the mm -hmm. of the of that fiber yeah. reeds. Yeah, uh, I used it on clarinet for a but while. You but you didn't use a Legere back in the day. No. Now you do just because you don't play I, it. I don't even. So this is ready to go. Ronnie, when you played with Les Brown's band, uh, what year did you start with his band? I joined Les Brown in the summer of nineteen. 49. 49. I was, I was uh, 19 years old, and uh, was I, was, I was playing with Skinny Ennis' band. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, I, got a, I got a call saying that the lead alto player uh, is leaving, and that was a good job, Les, because we used to do the Bob Hope show. Right, yeah. And uh, so I auditioned at the Hollywood Palladium, they used to have uh, Sunday matinees. Uh, 1949, they still, the, the war was over, but they still had afternoon dances. They started that for servicemen mm -hmm. during the Second World War. Mm -hmm. And I remember I, I auditioned uh, at, the, at the Palladium, and uh, so I got the job, and then, then we were on, we, you know, we took off on, we went on a road trip. But uh, the thing about Les's band that it was it was you were based in Los Angeles because the Bob Hope shows her. So mm -hmm. he first was radio. He did Bob Hope radio show? Uh, Doris Day was singing uh, in, in uh, not a Les's band, but the Bob Hope show. And uh, then it became television show. You know. And how long did you stay with the band? I was with Les's band uh, forty nine and fifty. And in 1950, uh, we went to to Korea. The Korean War started in in October, no, in July of 1950. The Korean War broke up, and uh, Bob Hope went to entertain the troops. Right. Mm -hmm. So we flew over to we flew <coughs> over. We went to Hawaii, went to uh, Guam, Wake Island, and it, we were in Korea for a couple of weeks entertaining the troops. We were in the capital of North Korea, Pyongyang, which hardly anybody goes to anywhere because we had pushed the North Koreans all the way to the Chinese border. And uh, at that point, uh, the, the, they said the boys are going to be home by Christmas because it was like November. And somebody said, I don't think so because the Chinese, they found some Chinese communist troops in with the North Koreans. And at that point, Two million or three million Chinese came over the border and pushed the Americans right after we got out of there, pushed them all the way back and just killed thousands. We were totally unprepared for that, yeah. uh, for yeah. the winter and, uh, and uh, it, was, it was wild. And then I got drafted. Oh, okay. In, 19, uh, uh, in December of 1950, I got my draft notice and... Uh, so, uh, so you went in? I was in a service 51 and 52, mm -hmm. and in 53 I got out, went back with Les. You did go back with Les? Yeah, him. 53, 4, and 5 I played with.